follow-up video of the video I did on Wanna Go Fast, Ocala, Florida, a couple of weeks ago, where I got a check engine light about halfway down the track, and a, the car went into limp mode, which killed my speed. I got up to about 129, I think, and then just before we get to the halfway point, it crapped a bit. Anyway, trying to figure out the problem, I took the car to my local Chevy dealer, Nahash Chevrolet out in Wildwood, Florida, and uh, they were great. Uh, five stars all the way. I told them what happened. They put the dollar diagnostic tools on it. They came up with a, um, I found a DCT a current code called P25C5, P26C5, and that's a con exhaust control valve uh, circuit. And so the guy traced it down. There was no uh, fuse in slot 42 um, of the fuse board, so he put one in there. But then, here's the important part, because I don't think that had anything to do with my going into limp mode. It might have put a check engine light, but not, not putting me into limp mode. So then uh, he found that there was available programming for both the ECM and the chassis control module. So he reprogrammed the ECM and the chassis control module with the new software that is out. Okay, so I bring the car home, the car's running great. Now, let's get to the next part of the story. Last night I'm at a car show down at Lake Something Landing. It's a, one of the uh, town squares in the villages here in Florida. And uh, I had my car on display with about 53 other cars that were there, all Corvettes. And so um, I have these cards that I have, um, like little business cards, and it has a picture of my car on it. Tells me, it tells you about, you know, where my uh, site is here on YouTube and all this and that, trying to generate some uh, more people to watch the site. So, thought I was getting low on cards. You won't believe this now. This gets crazy. Getting low on cards, I decided to walk over to the car. A couple of people sitting around, and one guy turns around, and he looks at me, and he says, you own this car? And I said, yeah, I do. Why? He said, I built that. Supercharger. I, I designed that supercharger. I said, you what? He said, yeah. He said, I was on the design team that made that supercharger. I said, you got to be kidding me. You're just the guy I'm looking for. Because after going through all this, I figured if anybody knew what was going on with a heat problem, it's the guy that designed the doggone supercharger. What's the chances? It's got to be like 50 million to one, 100 million to one, that I'm going to be at a car show down in Lake Sumpter Landing. And I walk up to my car at a particular time, and at that particular time, this guy is standing there that just retired a couple of years ago from General Motors, and he was in the design team that designed the supercharger on my Z06 Corvette. What are the chances of that? I don't know, 50 million to one, 100 million to one. I, I went out and bought a lottery ticket, by the way, for tonight. <laughs> so anyway, I got talking to him. He said, how do you like the car? I said, great. I said, and I told him what happened, the story about Especially the uh, going into limp mode, that's the most important one. Uh, and I told him, I showed him my, my uh, repair sheet, and I told him about the, uh, the ECM and the chassis control module. And he looked at me and he said, that'll probably cure it. I said, what? He said, oh yeah, he says, that's, you're probably all set now. And I said, holy crap, I couldn't believe it. It's like a miracle. I couldn't believe it was, it was happening. <laughs> so, anyway. Then I get smacked myself the side of the head. I got my camera down there taking pictures and stuff. I don't put the guy on tape. What an idiot. Go back and tell my wife the story. I'm sitting there, and all of a sudden, about a half an hour later, he's coming around again. It's a son of a bitch. I'm going to get out there and talk to him so, a little bit and get him on video. So now he comes back, sort of bring you up to date what's going on so you'll understand the video. Now he comes back, and his name is uh, Kyle uh, Hunsinger. Nice, nice, nice guy. And I talked to him again. So here's the video. Okay, tell us what that is. This is a supercharger. Yeah. It's the uh, second generation. We did a, a taller lid on this one because of the uh, European 
Pet Pro Zone on the first one in 2014, 15. Uh, this was the, the raised, raised lid, we called it. Okay. And, uh, a lot for more flow of air and uh, better cooling of the uh, intercoolers. So. You answered my question for me tonight too, didn't you? Yeah, well, I hope I did. Yeah. I really appreciate that. Yeah, well, and thank you for buying GM. Your name again is? My name is Carl Hunsanger. All right, Carl, you've been the best. <laughs> I don't think I was going to get an answer for my question. <laughs> well, sometimes you go to dealers and they do answer it, sometimes uh, they don't. Uh, but uh, it's nice to talk to somebody who actually made the stuff, so. Hey, there you Thank go. Thank you, buddy. You betcha. I Enjoy appreciate it. it, Carl. Thank you. Appreciate you buying it. Yep. Take care. So that's the guy. Carl is the guy that worked on this. Told me some great stories. We talked about heat issues, of course. And uh, then we talked about um, the 2009 ZR1 and how they had a much better working platform with the big air intakes on the front of the ZR1, which pretty much would take care of any heat overheating issues uh, in the ZR1. And then, of course, I asked them about the uh, upcoming. C8 mid-engine Corvette. I said, what do you know? He said, we worked on that for, I worked on that for two or three years. I said, really? <laughs> what can you tell me? He said, well, uh, the Z06 will have twin turbos. I said, what? So said, what's that car like? He says, it's sick. <laughs> it's really sick. So, get ready, fellows and gals. Um, the next Z06 ought to be really something special. So, Looking forward to that. So I hope this um, ups, update you on any uh, uh, the heating issue. If you have any questions, uh, put them down at the bottom. I'll try to answer if I can. I do have another piece of software I'm going to use. I'm going to take the car out uh, down to Mexico, of course, and uh, we'll go to Mexico and make some runs, quarter mile, half mile, and post them up. And first of all, I'm, I'll post something if I have a problem. If everything works fine, well, I wish it. A waste your time looking at hearing me say everything's great but if I have still have a problem a uh, 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 lip mode problem I, I will let you know uh, in a follow-up post to this but I think we're the guy that makes the supercharger tells me the design of the supercharger tells me that with the two upgrades I had uh, software upgrades that everything's okay I'm kind of going along with him you know I can read all those guys on uh, all those um, websites, and they all got, oh, they all have an idea on what's wrong and what you should do, and all this and that, and increase the surge tank, and blah 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 blah. But um, this guy's word, word is um, as good as anybody that I could talk to. So, but I'll, I will make another post if uh, if I have continue to have a heat problem. I'm going to try to recreate the day that I had it want to go fast and do it again and run, the, run it hard and see if I can generate uh, a, a um, lip mode situation or not. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, please hit the subscribe button. You could help out a lot if you do that. And if you like the uh, video, hit the like button. And I will put a link uh, down below if you want to see the first video is from Ocala, want to go fast. And you can see what happens. Uh, as I'm going down the track, I have an in-car video on it, one outside. You can see it more inside the car. And what actually happened, where I went into limp mode and I a, a uh, check engine light. So thanks for watching. Oh, and as a special bonus, here are a couple of outtakes. I have two new young, well, they're not cats, but they're not kittens. They're somewhere between a cat and a kitten. And uh, I, want you, <laughs> I want you to see, while I was... Um, beginning to videotape this, uh, what happens to my uh, little buddy there, the, the male of the two, there's a male and a female, they came from the same litter, but I think you get a kick out of this. I know I did. No slut. Slut, uh, you want to stay here for a while? Okay, slot, uh, slot 42 uh, on the fuse box, so he put a fuse in. So, um, that's what happened. So. Uh, he put, like I say, he put me back in. And then, uh, he also found that I needed two, I needed two, um, <laughs> I forgot was a code that normally, um, oh, jeez, <laughs> I have a cat. <laughs> hey, pal, I'm kind of busy. <laughs> Thank you.